guys, welcome back to my channel, and today is Sunday, June the 17th. I'm going to pick up with some more stories about when John and I had moved from New Orleans to uh, Covington, Louisiana, and we bought our first home there uh, in an area called um, Slimmer Road. Uh, there was a subdivision there called uh, Kings Point, and between that subdivision and Slimmer Road was a little lane called Melody Lane. And uh, there was a trailer park back there. And um, that's the trailer park where I told you that the axe murderer lived. So he was basically just living, you know, in the woods behind our house. So I, I would never let Jason go in the, in the backyard or front yard, anywhere outside by himself. I was always with him. Uh, because John failed to inform me that an axe murderer lived in the woods behind our house. But anyway, we, um, the first Mother's Day that I spent there, um, I had told John that I wanted to go to church. It, it was on a Sunday, that Mother's Day that year. And I had told John that I wanted to go to church. And um, so he had bought me a corsage that Saturday. And he had gone to some bars and was drinking and left the corsage in the car. So he brought it home and put it in the refrigerator that Saturday night. So I got up on Sunday morning, and um, of course John was going to take care of Jason so I could go to church. So John gets the, the corsage out of the little plastic container and opens it up, and uh, it was a big mum. It, it was some type of big flower with little petals on it. <laughs> well, y'all, all the petals just fell off of it. <laughs> I mean, I just wanted to cry. I was so upset, you know. Um, Actually, moving to Covington was probably the worst thing that we could have done because John had gone to high school there, and he had a lot of friends there. So, therefore, he just picked right up with his old drinking buddies. You know, when we moved there and started acting like he was a teenager again and going to the bars and hanging out with his old buddies on, in, in the evening on Saturday night. But anyway, I just let the... the um, the pedalless corsage at the house and went on to church and um, I didn't go to the the big church there I just picked a little uh, community church there in our neighborhood and it was mostly older people there so um, they were given prizes that day and um, so one of the prize was for the youngest mother in the congregation so they you know asked you know, if, if you have a child, if you're 20, if you're 21, 22. So I raised my hand, you know, I was real shy and everything. And they gave me a corsage. <laughs> uh, so that made up for uh, the one that John had ruined by leaving it in the hot car. But um, that year, it was on 1977, and I told you we had... Um, celebrated Jason's birthday and had gotten him the little cowboy outfit. But I found this picture of his birthday party, and that's John, and this is Jeannie and Fuzzy. Um, they were our neighbors across the street. Now, Jeannie worked for the phone company. Um, Fuzzy had some type of little uh, job with, um, I think, the road department. He had been in a car wreck when he was younger, and he had some type of uh, brain injury, so he he was um, a little off. And then um, this is Dorton Lamar, and that's Jason right there. But I had decorated it with little balloons and everything. Now Jeannie and Fuzzy were the ones that I had told y'all about earlier that uh, <laughs> she had come over to visit me, and John was in the backyard, and so. Fuzzy had gone into the backyard with John, and uh, John came up to the screen and window there in the dining room and put his head up there, and he said, Hey, baby, stupid's here. He didn't know Jeannie was right there in the kitchen with me, and I was so embarrassed, y'all. I, I could have just died. John used to just embarrass me to death. Oh, here's another picture of uh, Jason blowing out his candles, and that's Lamar. You know, when I see these pictures, I find it strange that Lamar and Dort actually came to one of my children's birthday parties. I only remember it because I'm looking at the picture. Um, now, before they started 
building the apartment next door to us, uh, that was just wooded land. And um, one day we heard this barking out there. And there was this little poodle. It, it was lost, but it had little red bows on its little ears. And its little toenails were painted red. And um, this is it. <laughs> Cute little gray poodle. And uh, we had a fish tank there. But, you know, I put an ad in the paper, you know, saying that, um, you know, we had found this little poodle and our phone number for the owner to contact us. And we never did find the owner, that cute little poodle. And, and I know somebody, you know, had to have been looking for it because it was well cared for. Little toenails painted red and everything. So we named it Tony and, and we just, you know, took care of it. And... Never did find the owner. And then we took Jason um, for his first haircut. There he is sitting in the barber's chair. He was real good. He didn't give us any problems. But um, anyway, John was working there at uh, PNW Industries at the, the scrap metal yard. And I was working as the executive secretary there at um, the uh, shipyard there on the Chifuncta River. And, um, you know, we were just trying to, to raise Jason and have the best life that we could for him. Um, of course, like I said, uh, John, his drinking just started getting progressively worse, which is the case with alcoholics. Um, so we just started having some problems in our marriage, and um, it, it was starting to put me under a lot of stress. and. I did go see an attorney. I was really, really considering um, leaving him. And then I found out that I was pregnant. <laughs> I got pregnant with, uh, with Jeremy. So I'll just pick up with that story and um, I'll just get back with y'all later and we'll just share some more stories and just keep on coming back. Bye now.